Bob, where are we going, man? We're going to Heaven Hill today, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Gonna go do a barrel pick with Elijah Craig. Barrel proof. Um, today is, what day is today? 15th, 16th, something like that? Yeah. Whatever. But we're heading down and we're gonna be doing a barrel pick with Heaven Hill. Should be in probably in two to three months. Yeah. So we're excited to get that one done. Get her done, man. Get her get done. done. Gotta wake up first. This was our first barrel pick in Kentucky, which was a super exciting thing to do. So we made our way down to Bardstown for the Heaven Hill facility. Our first stop and normal, you have to have a little bit of palette primer. So we stopped at the Five Brothers Bar and Kitchen. It's a wonderful bar that has every Heaven Hill product released in the last two years there. The prices are pretty on par with normal distillery stuff, but if there's something you're looking for, they've got it. After meeting up with Sylvia, our tour guide, we headed out to one of the Rick houses. The first part of our pick experience was a little bit of a scavenger hunt. We got to pick from 18 barrels that had been selected for the program. We had to pick three of them to throw in a blind flight. So with a little bit of insider information, a little bit of information on dating in the barrels, we ended up selecting three. And that would actually ended up being a lot harder to do than, than I had thought. But it, it's kind of like playing roulette. And just like that, the first barrel was chosen. There we go. <laughs> now, right on the wall there, you see that thief? Yeah. Go ahead and grab that thief and drop it right down into your barrel. And go ahead and leave your thumb off that hole there for a minute so it can fill up. It takes just about 10, 15 seconds for it to fill up there. All righty. And when you're ready, This is embarrassing. <laughs> it's coming. I'm giving it help. Maybe that's why the witch popped that low. Like pulling the sword from the ground. This is the one. You gotta be worthy for it. This is the one. Oh, well, I mean, school might be no one else around it, maybe. Yeah. Tara truly chose the hardest one to break open, so we ended up actually having to get some extra tools to get this one done. Working to get that liquid gold today. And then here's what I like to do too. 
dude. Oh, look at him. He is tight. Okay, now you can use this. There you go. Some folks there. Hey! hey! Just like that, all of the barrels have been drawn from and we were ready for our blind. Sylvia set us up a wonderful place for a blind flight. And it, it, the view was overlooking the Rick houses out on the property, and uh, it was just wonderful, surrounded by the smell of the whiskey. Didn't take long, and the winner was chosen. There's Rob right there, filling that barrel back up. Hey, yo. to try to avoid the RFID tag or the serial number. So that when it comes time for us to pull your barrel. Now, um, some things to know about your barrel is it takes about 12 weeks to process it, okay? So the proof at 130, it might not stay there. It could change. It could go up in proof. It could also go down in proof. I just want you to know that, okay? It's gonna continue aging while we're waiting for it to be processed. You get 30 characters to put a name here. This was really one of the quickest barrel picks I had ever been on. It ran around an hour, but Heaven Hill and Sylvia being our pick guide gave us an absolutely wonderful and fulfilling experience. Going through and being able to pick the barrels that we were gonna try really made you feel like you had a big part in what was gonna be selected. I gotta say a big shout out to this team. Um, Tara and Rob and Lisa, Isaiah Long, Mike, Eric, and Will. Honestly, it was a fantastic pick. We ended up with a 10 year old, 130 proof. Now she warned us, as you heard, if, um, the actual bottling proof might be different, but it was fantastic. So, 10 year old, 130 proof. We're really looking forward to getting this in you guys' hands. So, once it comes in, come on into Final Third Cigar and Whiskey Lounge. It's gonna be fantastic. <laughs>